<laughs> now this, mwah, so beautiful. <laughs> this is probably what you imagine when you think about riding Vespas in Italy. A twisty road down a valley with lovely views around every corner. And I feel like that concept makes sense. You think of Italy, you think of scooters, you're gonna think of Vespa because they're the iconic scooter. If you were to close your eyes right now, this is how famous Vespas are. <laughs> and you try and imagine a scooter, the silhouette you see, I almost guarantee, will be that of a Vespa. They're as iconic and legendary and purely Italian as espresso or pizza. <laughs> so as lovely as it would be to ride through this postcard for the next few days, that is not why we're here. Because ever since we heard about this group of people in Northern Italy that takes old Vespas and turns them into dirt bikes, we knew that that was what we wanted to get in on. So that is what we're aiming to do. They call it Vespa Cross, and the people who race it do it on vintage, lightweight, two-stroke scooters. So that means we need to ditch these modern, heavy four-strokes. And then we're going to head to a local shop and spend the next couple of days building some race scooters. And then Zach and I are going racing. <laughs> The town of Cluson sits in the alpine foothills northeast of Milan, steeped in history dating back to the Roman Empire. Brewing in the hillside suburbs is a new empire, vintage Vespas, brought to life by a mad scientist named Alessandro Pendezza. We were told that Ale had a couple of scooters waiting for us in his garage. Some assembly required. Wow. Engine? Oh, uh, these are the engines? Kit for the race. This? Yep. This. So these are all okay. the parts we need. Yeah. All the parts? Yes. Right and on. how much time do you think we need to do that? About uh, 10 hours. 10 hours? Yes. All right. I guess okay. we better get we, to it. We then. have to work. <laughs> we have yeah, to work fast. Work, yeah. <laughs> yes. work fast? Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay, we can work fast. We've come to the shop, and the guys are going to help us get ready to race. It's the organizer and the lead mechanic, and they've got <laughs> lots of parts, all the components, but obviously we do not have complete Vespas yet. Not even close. In fact, this is one, uh, which is, I think, the one that I'm going to ride. Take it easy on my paint. <laughs> the other one that Aerie's going to ride, um, they are going to build. So they are going to put together one scooter. We're basically going to watch them, what they do, and then try to mimic it for this one. Good thing we have lots of experience building Vespas. Yeah, well, we've got some people with experience. Zach and I have <laughs> never worked on a Vespa in our entire lives, but you know, First time for everything. It was a case of Vespa C, Vespa Do. Ali and Sam ganged up to work on one bike while Zach and I tackled the other. Except that they knew Vespas inside and out, while we knew next to nothing. Nevertheless, we clearly impressed them with our enthusiasm and very manly shop habits. Wish I brought some nitrile gloves. Cosa cerca i guanti? Hmm? Uh, golf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you like this? Is this what you wanted to see? I don't need guanti, yeah. He wants to see come me on, dive in. Come on, come uh, on. Come on, he's making fun of me because I want to wear nitrile gloves when I grease the bearing. <laughs> yeah, get yourself greasy. Do it. That's hilarious. I don't even know what side. I think it's the right. Uh, yeah, I think it's that way, yep. So what do you think our odds are of, you know, Succeeding? riding these things well enough to... You said 45 racers. 45 racers on the grid, and it's a proper moto-style start I, with a gate. I'm hoping that when he said it's an MXGP course, there's like an MXGP course on the adjacent, premises. Adjacent, yeah, exactly, yeah. near the track.